Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today's video, as you guys can see from all the toys behind me, today's video is what I got my kids for Christmas this year. Now a lot of this stuff I did purchase on Black Friday and then there's a few things that I purchased over the summer. Walmart was having a huge toy sale over the summer when they were trying to get rid of all of their summer toys and start bringing in all of their holiday toys. But I thought I would share with you guys everything that the kids will be receiving for Christmas this year. So now let's just jump right into this video so it won't be too long. So first item I will share with you guys is this Kion. Now this one I did get over the summer at Walmart for my son. And guys, I was so excited to grab this one. This one I found and it did not have a price tag on it. So I brought it up to the register and it rang up as $3. You guys, $3 for this Kion. My son loves the Lion Guard and he talks. I don't want to pull the tab because I don't want the battery to die. But he does talk and he's supposed to roar and do a few other things. So he is going to love that. That's the first item. So the second item I'll share with you guys is actually for my daughter. And it's just like this little doodle pad. It is called Boogie Board. And it just looks like that. We got her in white and pink. And if you press, where's the button? If you press this button right here, that clears out. And then there's a little pen and she can just draw, which I think is awesome. My daughter loves like doodle pads and drawing. So we thought this would be perfect for when we travel. And yeah, we bought her that. Next item is going to also be for my daughter. She loves music, anything musical she will play with. So I found this little ukulele at, I believe, Five Below. It was $5, thought it was cute. I got her, it's like a blue with a bunch of different flowers and she can play with this. She loves playing with my husband's big guitar. So I thought this would be perfect for her. Next is going to be for my son and it is this little dinosaur that comes with a little remote control and he can control what he does and says and it's by Sharper Image. We bought this on Black Friday. My son loves dinosaurs, so we grabbed that for him. Next is going to be for my daughter. She loves bubbles. This girl gets so excited when she sees bubbles. My son really likes bubbles too, but my daughter, oh my gosh, her face when she sees bubbles is so cute. So I found this little bubble machine, bought this over the summer. It was on clearance for I believe like $2. So it's just like a machine that blows out bubbles. The next two things is going to be for my daughter as well, and they are sensory toys. I actually found out about these sensory toys from Samantha Medlin. She did a haul on what she bought her son, and when she showed it, I was like, I need those for my daughter as well. So I went to Walmart and I found them. So I got her this one. It's a sensory ball kit. So it has one large ball and then a bunch of small ones that they can put inside. So I thought this would be perfect. She does a lot of sensory things in therapy. So I thought this would be great for her to play with, but also work on her sensory issues. Now the next toy I bought for my daughter is another sensory kit and it just has four different shapes in there and they have like these little spikes on here and they're soft so they're not hard at all. They're pretty soft so I bought her that. Next is going to be for my son. My son loves to pretend cook. He doesn't have a kitchen but my daughter has a kitchen and he is always pretend cooking on her kitchen so I thought this would be really cute for him. It's a little pizza and then it comes with like some silverware, some ketchup and stuff so he is going to love this. Next is going to be this huge Lego kit we bought for my son. My son doesn't have any real Legos other than the little baby ones that we bought for him when he was younger. The reason why we haven't bought these Legos is one because these are so tiny and it's going to drive me nuts around the house. And also my daughter puts everything in her mouth so I'm really scared that she's going to choke on one of these. But my husband convinced me into getting it for him. So we just bought him that but we told him that he can only play with it inside of the office where my daughter cannot get a hold of these Legos. But, but yeah, we got him that and it comes with 900 pieces and has a few different colors in it. So the next two toys is also from the Lion Guard. We bought it over the summer from Walmart, like I told you guys. Um, this one is, his name is Beth, Best? I don't know. But that is like a little hippo and he's supposed to like talk and do things. And then we also bought him this one. The name is Bunga and he also talks and does things as well. So. They were only $5 a piece, so we grabbed that and I saved it so I can give it to him for Christmas. Next is just going to be this little sensory ball for my daughter. I thought it would be a really cute stocking stuffer. So it's just one big ball and inside has like a little rattle in it. Next is going to be this little costume I found at Walmart when they were getting rid of all of their Halloween stuff for a dollar, guys. One dollar. I could not say no. So I grabbed him this one. It's just like cars, so I thought he can play it like dress up with that. Next is going to be two toys for my son by Cars. He loves that movie and he loves anything that has to do with cars and trains. 
So I bought him these two. This one is APB and Lightning McQueen, and then this one is T-Bone and Jimbo. So it's just like little car sets. Next is gonna be something for my daughter, and it is this puzzle piece. I thought this was so cute. It's from the brand Melissa and Doug. It's wooden. I love Melissa and Doug toys because they're wooden and they last a lot longer. And this was $3, but when they rung it up, it only came up for a dollar, which I thought was great. My daughter does a lot of puzzles like this in her therapy, so I thought it would be perfect for her at home that she can work on it at home. And I love it because it plays eight different songs, musical songs. So anytime she gets a puzzle piece right, it'll play her a little Disney song. So grabbed her that. Next is going to be a book for my son. My son loves books and he loves Paw Patrol so I just grabbed him this Paw Patrol book. Next is going to be this puppy for my son as well. It's called Puppy Pets and he can walk it. I thought it was so cute. We bought it on Black Friday. I don't remember how much it was but it comes with a leash and he can walk it so. Next is going to be this huge toy from Paw Patrol. My son loves Paw Patrol so Thought this would be really cute it comes with like this little snowmobile and it comes with just some little toys like the puppy and a penguin and a polar bear so we bought this on black friday it was one of the door busters i don't remember how much it was but we bought him that last two items is going to be for my daughter like i told you guys before she loves like doodle pads and drawing so i found her this one it was so cute it's orange and then it comes with four different magnets a bunny looks like a puppy a kitten and a duck and then obviously with the pen and what I really liked about this is the cushion in the back so she can put it on her lap and draw. And also she loves to throw things. So I thought since it had the cushion in the back, if she always throws it, it won't break as easily. And it feels pretty sturdy. So I bought her that. I bought this one from Target. And then the last thing is going to be for my daughter. And it is this huge teddy bear. It's so cute. We bought it from Target. It was a door buster. And even if she doesn't play with it, I thought it would be really cute just to sit in her room like for decoration. So it's like a cream white color and then he has a little brown bear. So that is the huge teddy bear that we all bought for my daughter. Okay guys, so that is the last item that we bought for my kids for Christmas. As you guys can see, we have a very big pile of stuff for them. So they're set. No more toys for them and no more shopping for them. I just have to wrap everything now. I also bought little knickknacks for them for their stocking stuffers. But they're just really, really small things. Um, I'm not going to show you guys. It's somewhere in the closet. But they're just really, really small things. I think majority of the stuff I bought is probably from like Dollar Tree and the dollar section from Target. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my little toy haul for my kids for Christmas. If you did... Please give me a big thumbs up and if you haven't already, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button, subscribe and join me in my YouTube family. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.